Hey guys, Joey from First String Lawn Care here. So, guys, as you know, we started the year out with two 30 inch Toro Turf Masters, uh, two leaf blowers, two gas cans, a uh, weed eater, and an edger. Uh, we have a KM 131 combo kit, a combi kit by Steel uh, <clears throat> that we have for our backup. And I put out uh, a video that was uh, earlier in the year. That was our setup. Guys, we've changed things up just a little bit. And uh, we're still, we are still targeting these small properties. But we've made a, a, a new purchase. And here we go. Let's take a look at the setup now, guys. This is going to be our setup moving forward. So here we go. Got a five by 10 trailer. We still got our green touch racks, which are awesome. But we went out and we got this 36 inch Ferris stand on to take the place of our push mowers. Well, at least one of the push mowers. Uh, so now we just use the push mower when we absolutely have to. And we stopped bagging all these properties because we were bagging everything. Hey, nobody else around here does it. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna bag when we need to, obviously during leaf season and things like that. And if the grass is overgrown, you know, or something like that, we'll bag when we have to. But we're no longer gonna just do that for the for the hell of it. <laughs> just so we can look better than everybody else, because what we were doing. Oh well, yeah, our properties look great, but we were, uh, it just, it just, it was too labor intensive and you can't, I'm telling you, you can't charge enough. It just, for, for the pain that you got to go through to push mow and bag, even if it's a small property, to me, it's not worth it. So now we're out here and we're running just like everybody else, you know, can't beat them, join them, right? I love this setup, guys. Very efficient. It's small. It's to the point. It gets the job done. These green touch racks, I've always said they're worth their weight in gold. If you don't have them, you need, I mean, there's equipment defender and green touch. You gotta have something that locks up your equipment or it will get stolen. <clears throat> this Ferris mower. Is awesome country boy trailer man they make an awesome trailer here in Cumming Georgia sure cans great product man I don't even have to, literally I just pull the mower up underneath these let it fill up don't even have to take them off <clears throat> bring the weed eaters edgers over fill them up right there <clears throat> I would actually I'm actually going to take and make a, a little tip uh, on here with a piece of uh, garden hose and just and that way whenever we do uh, fill up here we can just put it right down into the tanks uh, like I said still got the Toro turf masters <clears throat> uh, quick tip there is a cover that goes on here uh, if you run one a couple of days <clears throat> you'll see what I mean and that's why we got or you'll see why I don't have that cover on anymore it holds so much grass up in there. Um, it, it was actually just way, 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 way too much grass. And um, you couldn't get anything cleaned out. I'm not even sure why they would design it like that. But we took them off. I'm not sticking my hand down there while the mower's running anyway. So it's worked out fine. But guys, this is it. This is the 2021 setup. The 2022 setup. And probably from here on out, it's <laughs> set up. Uh, unless we actually just get rid of push mowers all together and we just have maybe two stand-ons. So this is a 36 inch and we'll probably, we may run two 36 inches. I mean, our properties are small guys. So uh, this is all we need. And there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
subscribe, hit the like button, uh, and the notification bell. Follow us, guys. Uh, haven't put out a ton of content. We are about to get ramped up, though, guys. I appreciate everybody that's uh, subscribed. Thank you.